Hello friends, today I'm excited to share an amazing innovation, a homemade air conditioner and cooler. Believe me, the cooling power of this little device is so strong that even expensive coolers can't compare. So let's not waste any time and dive into how this power-packed mini AC cooler was made. Make sure to watch the video until the end. Building your mini AC cooler. Gather your core components. First, you'll need a CPU fan. A high-speed one works best. Next, get an insulating sheet and cut it into a circular shape, specifically to the size of a Peltier module. Understanding and installing the Peltier module. Now for the real magic, the Peltier module. The side with the numbers printed on it is the cool side and the plain metal side is the hot side. Remember this during installation. To fix the Peltier module inside the sheet, use a cutter or precision knife to carefully make a hole as shown. Once the hole is ready, insert the Peltier module into the sheet. For proper heat transfer and a strong hold, I applied thermal paste on the module before fixing it in place. Custom Aluminum Heat Sink Next, we need a piece of aluminum. I designed this aluminum heat sink myself because I couldn't find such a strong one in my local market, so I ordered it from a website. I used JLC CNC, an online CNC machining service by JLC PCB. JLC CNC is your trusted partner for fast, affordable, and high-quality custom parts. It's super easy. You upload your file, choose your material, set your requirements, and get an instant quote. They offer professional 3-axis, 4-axis, and 5-axis CNC machining services with tolerances up to 0.05 mm, which means super accurate parts every time. My design was simple, and they made it in just a few days with lightning fast processing and dispatch, shipping it straight to my home. They even offer 3D printing services if you need them. So if you're making a custom part and want it done right, check out JLCCNC. I've added their website link in the description box, so you can visit and order your parts. This aluminum piece will be mounted directly on top of the Peltier module to help dissipate heat effectively. Assembling the cooling components. Next, we'll connect the CPU fan and the sheet together. Make sure to fix them tightly. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask. It's important to remember that the heat sink must be attached to the cooling side of the Peltier module using thermal paste. We'll firmly attach the heat sink exactly as I'm showing you step by step in this video. Follow the exact method I'm demonstrating for the best results. Once it's in place, building the body structure, you'll need to cut out four pieces of a specific size from the same sheet to build and fix the body structure of the cooler. I hope everything has been crystal clear so far. Walk through each step with precision to ensure no details are missed while finishing the body assembly. Installing the CPU fan. This involves installing the 12V CPU fan that you salvaged from old electronics. You need to mark the area on a sheet cut out with a cutter for a perfect fit and then secure it with glue. Friendly reminder. Please like the video and share it with your friends. Preparing for installation and assembling the body. To prepare for the installation, we'll start by using a pencil to mark precise drilling points on the sheet. Once the markings are complete, carefully drill holes using a drill machine. Drill holes in three different sections of the sheet, because these openings are crucial for smooth and efficient airflow through the system, which in turn improves overall cooling performance. After the holes are ready, proceed to attach the parts in place using glue. To get great results, you'll need to follow the exact method used here and take your time doing it carefully. As you can see, the entire body is assembled and secured. It's compact and incredibly professional. You'd never guess it was made at home. Guys, by making this, you can fully enjoy the AC at a low cost. Crafting the PVC pipe enclosure. Next, you need a PVC pipe. Cut it carefully and handle it properly. Use a scale to carefully mark the measurements and then cut the PVC pipe down to size. Once the pipe is cut, turn it into a custom sheet. After forming the sheet, bend all four sides, and then trim the corners at specific angles exactly as demonstrated. This ensures everything fits together cleanly and efficiently. You can already see how easily the cuts are coming together. Now for the fun part. Using a heat gun or lighter, gently bend both sides to the right shape. Make sure to bend enough so that it aligns perfectly with the CPU cooler body. We've created a hole on the side of the body where it's needed. And it's time to securely fix the entire structure in place. Guys, we've made a unique mini cooler air conditioner that you've never seen before. This mini AC can be placed anywhere, allowing you to easily continue your work while staying cool. For electrical connections, we'll be doing all the wiring in a specific order 
so make sure you follow along step by step just as I am demonstrating. Guys we've got a DC socket here and now we'll easily make the connections. Just follow the same method to set up your own connections. As you can see the setup is now complete. And here's a quick important note. Please don't skip any part of the video. Alright everyone, we'll secure this part using glue for a firm hold. Just to clarify, this isn't just a regular air cooler, this is actually a compact, portable air conditioner, so you can place it anywhere and easily carry it around. As you can see, our unit is fully assembled and ready for testing. Let's move on to the testing phase. If you're enjoying the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. To begin, connect a 12V power socket. We'll now proceed with the wiring. Simply follow the same steps I'm showing here to make your own connections. As you can see, the connections have been completed. The system has started working quite well. I hope all the points were clearly understood. I explained everything step by step in a very organized manner. To check the temperature, we used a digital thermometer. I fast forwarded the video slightly. As you can observe, the temperature has gradually started to decrease. So you see how easily we built an air conditioner cooler to put it simply, a mini AC. I demonstrated everything clearly throughout the video. If you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such content. We are also active on Instagram, so make sure to follow us there too. That's it for today's video. See you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.